Welcome back, this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, and today is going to be a very interesting format because I'm in a hotel rather than at my home, and so I don't have any of the normal stands that I have for my videos. But um, somebody on our uh, channel asked me to compare these two shoes this week, and so I wanted to take the time to do it. This is the Edward Green Dover, and this is the Norman Vallalta uh, Tete Mach. Now you can see, if we look carefully, that they're both split toes and that the toes themselves are very similar, very well done. Now you can also see that the aprons are a little bit different, but both very, very high quality. Now this one obviously has Janus suede and this one is all single material. Um, when you look at the shoe, there are, they look very similar, however, this has the top line that goes over here because it is like this uh, kind of fake cap on the outside there. And, um, and then on the, um, this one is just a regular heel cap. So interesting, uh, interesting shoes. The uh, quality of them is very, very similar. We'll start with the soles. Um, you know, this is a closed channel sole. Um, the wear is very, very good. A lot of nails in the heel to keep it together, but overall pretty well done. Square waist and very, very clean. Certainly from a quality perspective, you can see very, very well done. Two seven well. On the Norman Vuelta, same. Stitch density may even be a little bit higher, uh, but also very well done and sole is painted now these are not uh these are a little bit uh less wear but not much but similar quantity of nails just in different pattern and also very well done so good shoes certainly um uh similar this has got a four eyelet uh configuration this has five and um you know if i were to say are they comparable shoes they certainly are are they comparable support? They certainly are, although this has slightly less because it has four eyelets. Um, and the style is very, very similar. Obviously this has a little bit more of a square edge to the uh, apron. And of course it stands out more because this particular model of the Tate Mach is in suede. Um, and uh, this other, you know, grained leather, which is not hatch grain, but, uh, but pretty close. You can obviously see that the uh, polish is uh, falling off of the shoe, which uh, is really original polish, and I'm going to have to uh, polish it when I get home. So this is Wisconsin Shoe Guy, just a short video comparing the two. Thanks for watching.